Hi, I'm Quinn, and this is my Ignite Talk for Module 7, and I'm going to talk about the seven strategies and how they apply to my classroom. Where did I grow? So I liked this picture because it really showed how I changed throughout the semester. And starting here at the beginning, you can see how I didn't have a whole lot of strategies and I gained a lot. Strategy one talked about assessment in support of learning and it discussed formative assessment, which is adjusting teaching and summative assessment, which is basically determining competence. I liked this graphic because it shared the formative assessment is talking about self-assessment, peer assessment, portfolios, whereas summative assessment would be at the end of your unit, standardized tests, exhibitions, rubrics, and so forth. Clear learning targets, they are teacher given, student understood, always student friendly, rubrics communicate learning target, guides instruction, they're explicit, and we must make sure to take time to review them. Students can take ownership of their targets by recording them in daily journals, discussing with a partner, or reviewing throughout their lesson. Effective feedback was discussed in strategy three. Intervention feedback identifies areas in need of improvement and provides enough information so that the student understands what to do next. Having effective feedback is so important. On this next slide, you can see the difference between effective and ineffective. So effective, it's clear and specific. So I like the way you added details to your story as opposed to great job. And it looks like you had some trouble telling the difference between rectangles and triangles. Be sure to count the sides instead of go back and try again. One way that I can look at that is through formative assessments. And we learned about different formative assessments in our, in our group. I particularly liked the Google Forms, the Flickers, and the Kahoot that I could use. Um, one thing that we learned through those is that students need to be very specific when assessing what they've done and to um, set their goals for follow-up. This was a nice little review for um, students can use this to share if they are understanding, if they're following, or if they just need a little bit more time to grasp something. And in my district, we use SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. And it can really show you where are you now, where do I want to be, what's my target, and how am I going to go about that? Be very specific. In strategy five, it talked about diagnosing needs for instruction, and it focused on three aspects of the problem. Um, the problem might be because there is incomplete understanding, there's a flaw in reasoning, or there's a misconception. And then that leads us to the feedback loop. So where are my students? Um, once I've determined where my students are, I'm going to choose from several strategies that I might have and then put that into action. Strategy six focused on um, practice and revision. And I liked this quote, sometimes in order to adhere by a by pacing guide, teachers will bypass the feedback loop and move straight to grading. And that could be a scary thing, especially if kids are not ready. What we learned is that practice needs to be very specific. And so we need to have spaced practice over time, not masked practice. That's more effective. Strategy seven, we didn't really get to talk about it, but when I was reading it, it was focusing on tracking, reflecting, and sharing. So students can track theirs by recording information, keeping learning journals, and collecting evidence in portfolios. And then students really benefit from leading conferences and sharing their information with their parents, their peers, and their teachers. They can share quizzes, learning journals, or their portfolios to reflect growth. Um, moving forward, my biggest take three from this class would be formative assessments help drive instruction, effective practice will lead to success, and students need to be involved with the process from the beginning to the end throughout everything. That's a wrap. I hope you uh, got something out of my presentation and um, learned a little bit, and I look forward to your comments. Thank you. Bye.